welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle Burr. I am about to have peanut butter and an apple. Don't mind me. Um, today's video is gonna be all focused on nutrition and food for fertility. Today, I'm gonna be hitting up Trader Joe's um, and stocking my fridge and pantry with everything I need to be the most fab, fertile woman. First things first, water. I know you probably get tired of hearing it, but the more hydrated your cells are, the more hydrated your body is, the more happy your body is for baby. So as soon as my husband and I decided that we were gonna start this fertility journey and get our baby at whatever cost, literally whatever cost, oof, the first thing I thought about was nutrition. If you've been subscribed to me for a while, you know that I'm a pretty healthy broad. I mainly follow the Mediterranean type diet that is known as the fertility diet in the fertility world. Um, it's literally been the easiest, most attainable diet that I've ever been on. It doesn't even feel like a diet. I have a whole video on my channel that is centered towards Mediterranean diet. If you wanna check that out, I'll put it in the card up here or right here. I don't know, one of those sides. I encourage you to watch this whole video first before you go over to that one. Just know that I follow the Mediterranean diet. I'm also dairy free with the exception of Greek yogurt because I do like to get those probiotics and that protein. So that is the only dairy that I eat. And then also I am gluten free. So I cut out gluten about three, four years ago. And I'm a very strict gluten-free person and that had to do with allergies. I have a gluten intolerance and I lived most of my life pretty miserable before I decided to cut out gluten. And the dairy-free thing is a little recent for me. It's only about two or three months old. And the reason that I cut out dairy is for inflammation and mucus. I felt like it was just the best thing to do for my goals and my body type. So my fertility diet on my journey is not gonna be about eliminating things or changing my diet at all, but there are many things that need to be added to my diet that is crucial for developing high quality eggs and implantation. I've been doing research forever. I have the lists that I need. I even have different lists for different parts of my cycle, like this is Operation Baby Burr, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my list. We're gonna go to Trader Joe's. And then when I get back, I'm gonna show you what I got and I'm gonna tell you why you should be eating it too. So I'm back from the store now. I ended up going to Trader Joe's and H-E-B because there were things at Trader Joe's that I knew I could get in the bulk section of H-E-B for a better price. Um, so let me show you what I got. So what I'm really focusing on is not eating processed food and eating food that is high in antioxidants, food that is full of healthy fats and omega-3s. So that is the three big things to focus on whenever you are focusing on fertility, hormones, etc. These are dog treats from Trader Joe's. By the way, my dogs are crazy about them, so. And then I got a big tub of non-fat vanilla Greek yogurt. Their vanilla Greek yogurt is so good. It's probably the, God, I look rough. It's probably the best Greek yogurt that I've like ever had. So that is the only dairy that I'm gonna be eating because of the protein content and the probiotics. And then I got this chunky olive hummus with black and green olives. I'm gonna be eating this with some bell peppers raw bell peppers um, and maybe some cucumber. I got hummus because it's made out of chickpeas. Chickpeas are healthy fats, so I'm excited for that. And then as far as antioxidants, I got more strawberries and more blueberries. This is probably just gonna be a staple in my house for the next few months. I don't ever want to go without strawberries and blueberries. I'm eating at least a serving of each a day to make sure that I'm getting those antioxidants in my diet. And then I saw this kale gnocchi. It's basically kale, chickpea flour, sea salt, and olive oil. So I thought that this would be a really good like twist on vegetables. And then I got this green vegetable for some. It's a medley of organic broccoli, peas, green beans and zucchini. I'm trying to eat lots and lots of vegetables. That is key in the Mediterranean diet. Um, since I'm having a lot of fish and salmon on the side, I wanna make sure that every time I eat, I have a 
load of vegetables on my plate. And then I got these roasted potatoes. It's just roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. They're so good. They're actually really good in your eggs as well. I usually cook a lot of things fresh, but I know that this time of my life particularly, I need to be able to have things on hand because I might not be feeling good or I might just be really tired from all the hormones. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that I had things in the freezer and then snacks readily available to me. Um, and then I got this shiitake mushroom chicken. It's literally just chunks of chicken, mushrooms, green beans, and edamame. But I'll definitely add more vegetables to that. And then this is barbecue chicken teriyaki. Again, it's just chicken, a teriyaki sauce. That doesn't have vegetables in it. This is literally just a bag of teriyaki chicken. Um, but that's okay because I will make a crap ton of vegetables with it. That would actually be really good with like a big plate of Brussels sprouts and a little serving of white rice with barbecue teriyaki chicken on it. Yes. And then I got two pieces of this fresh Atlantic salmon. I'm not crazy about salmon, but the healthy fats in salmon are so nourishing for your body and it's really what I need right now. So this will probably be like a lemon and herb salmon that I make. But then I also got these premium salmon burgers. And I thought that this would just be a quick option. We don't have to eat them on a burger. I love that they have like the grill marks and the flavoring. So I'll just heat them up. I'll drizzle some of that teriyaki sauce on them. I'll pile vegetables next to it. And that's dinner and that's easy. So I'll let you know how that goes because that is just an easy, simple way for me to get that salmon in and eat healthy. I don't want to have to cook this every day. I'm not gonna lie. And I know if I don't wanna cook that every day now, I'm not gonna wanna cook it later. So I'm excited to have these on hand just to get my salmon in. And we all know the one food with lots of healthy fats is avocado. So I got a big bag full of avocado. I got five jumbo avocados. And I'm gonna try to at least eat half, a, half an avocado a day. And I mean, I'm sure I can easily eat a whole avocado a day, but that is the healthy fats I need in my life. Again, these are specific for hormone balance and fertility. These are called Brazil nuts. They're actually quite large. I saw this on YouTube. A girl was going through fertility treatments and her fertility doctor that was also like really mindful of nutrition at the same time, which I appreciated. Um, told her to incorporate Brazil nuts into her diet because Brazil nuts contain selenium that is really good for your fertility and nourishing your body and getting those eggs to mature and develop. It also can support implantation as well. But fun fact with the Brazil nuts, you can only eat three a day because there is a level of selenium that actually can be not so good for you. So I will be having three Brazil nuts every morning that sounds so anal, I'm sorry. And then I just got a big bag of walnuts because walnuts are really, 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 really good for your fertility. And then these have nothing to do with my fertility. <laughs> I mean, I guess they might. I just got some black beans. Black beans has fiber and fat, but I got them because we have friends coming in, into town and we are making them chicken tacos tomorrow. <laughs> so that's why I got that. And I got some like Rotel, it's diced tomatoes and green chilies. I use these to cook all the time and I was out. So that really has nothing to do with my fertility. The next thing I got is some quinoa. This is rosemary and olive oil quinoa. Quinoa and lentils are so good for a fertility diet. So I figured that that would be really good with the salmon as well. And then I got another Schmitz deodorant. I just ran out of my Schmitz deodorant. And this is, I like the Schmitz brand because it's no aluminum, no propylene glycol, no artificial fragrance, certified vegan, cruelty free and gluten free. And this scent was jasmine tea. You guys, it smells so good. A huge part of my fertility journey has been detoxing artificial, artificial fragrances, just any environmental toxins I have eliminated. So 
this is part of that. And wow, like I cannot get enough of this jasmine tea smell. It's so good. And then the last thing I got for fertility foods is pomegranate juice. Now with pomegranate juice, you have to make sure that it's 100% pure pomegranate. Look at the ingredients. We don't want added sugar. We don't want artificial flavors. This is 100% cold pressed pomegranate juice. I got it in the cold section of H-E-B. And what I do is I actually just put a little bit in a, like a low glass and then I add a little bit of water to it and crushed ice and that is how I drink it. Pomegranate juice is an excellent antioxidant and it also supports implantation whenever that baby makes its way to you. That's all I got. It wasn't a lot and it was kind of basic stuff, but I just wanted to show you basically what I'm gonna be eating until this cycle is over. And you're looking at it, I'm probably gonna get pretty sick of it, but it's gonna be well worth it. If you have any questions, let me know. Comment below, let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for watching this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.